everyone. So we'll just wait for two to three minutes before we start. I anyhow don't, any we do not expect a lot of people to join the session. And let's not talk about that, okay? The screen is visible, right? Okay, cool. बेटा क्या ज़ूम पे पहली बार Uh, no, Micah does not release its previous year papers, specifically because of the creative writing and the psychometric session. You won't be able to find any previous year questions anywhere. The only thing is that is available is the sample paper itself. I have some previous year questions memory based. I'll post them in the group if that works. बेटा उसके बाद पैटर्न काफी ज्यादा चेंज हो गया हां जी बेटा साक्षी ऐसे भी कर सकते हो यस तू ही ना आई विल बी टू द आई विल बी डूइंग दैट वॉइस बहुत लो है ओके लेट मी चेक इज इट फाइन नाउ Yes, only my cat. बेटा सब कुछ कवर करूंगा जस्ट प्लीज मौका देना बोलने का ठीक है मेजरली वी विल जस्ट बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द साइकोमेट्रिक सेक्शन एंड द डिस्क्रिप्टिव सेक्शन ओके द थिंग इज that when you normally talk about my cat the aptitude part is not really any sort of problem it's just extremely easy if you have prepared for cat specifically for you guys i don't really see any reason why you won't be able to perform specifically in the quant and the va section the only thing different from cat is the word association part and from a theoretical standpoint there isn't much to talk about in word associations we'll be practicing a lot of those as well in the next few days okay uh jitan should depends on it totally so grammar also i don't really think you need any other specific practice we will be practicing quite a few questions from the v point of view but the majority of your focus should be on descriptive section descriptive and gk section okay so we will first talk about the psychometric part and then we will go to the descriptive uh, descriptive part okay i understand that you guys have your own inhibitions and everything so allow me to complete things first and then i'll jump up to your queries okay gk etc etc i'll cover it towards the end of the session don't worry okay let's first talk about the psychometric part then we will talk about descriptive part then we will talk about the gk part okay 
I don't really think we need to discuss anything about the verbal and the quant part because that is extremely on the easier side, uh, specifically for you people. Okay, so the first thing that you are supposed to take in the examination is the psychometric part. Do you guys understand what psychometric is? What is psychometric exactly? I think a lot of job uh, roles also have started to take psychometric exams since the past three, four years. It's kind of a personality test exactly. Now, there are a lot of rumors and probably a lot of weird predictions that go around my cat's psychometric test that Maika will reject you if you are an introvert, that Maika will only accept extroverts on and so forth. That is not the case. Okay. The only thing, the only reason why there's a psychometric test is so that they can judge your personality as a whole. There is a psychometric test in order to understand your, uh, your skill set, in order to understand your mindset in general. Okay. So you don't really have to worry about uh, that you uh, you are an introvert or you're an extrovert, so you will get rejected because it's a marketing school. So obviously, it doesn't make a lot of sense for introverts to join it. That does not really make any sort of sense. Okay. So just focus on taking the examination results are anyhow not in your hands. Okay. Focus on understanding what the process is. Focus on understanding the structure of the paper and focus on giving it your best shot. Okay. Exactly. The biggest rule that you are supposed to follow is that you are never supposed to lie on your psychometric examination. If you are lying, you will be caught because the same question is asked multiple times throughout the paper. The psychometric part is around 30 minutes. Okay. And it is a qualifier section. What that means is that in case you fail your psychometric, in case there are any inconsistencies in your psychometric part, your rest of the paper will not be evaluated. Okay. It means if you are making any sort of mistakes, if you are skipping any sort of questions, if you uh, run out of your uh, run out of the time limit and you could you were not able to attempt any sort of questions in your psychometric your paper will not be evaluated as simple as that in your scorecard it will just say one line psychometric not qualified okay yes Rachet, they do that they distort the question language okay what you are supposed to understand that there are no wrong answers in any sort of psychometric test people are different People have their own idiosyncratic beliefs and ideas. Okay. They have their own habits. There is no right personality type. There is no wrong personality type. Obviously, if your personality trait, if your psychometric test suggests that you are a psychopath, obviously you will be rejected. I am just hoping that you are not a psychopath. Okay. So just worry about taking the examination. Just worry about understanding, uh, understanding what psychometric tests uh, are there for they are just to understand your personality nothing more nothing less be consistent in your answers do not ever lie i'll be sharing a list with you people from where you can practice a few psychometric tests in order to understand uh, what sort of questions there are asked okay normally it is asked on a spectrum okay most likely to least likely spectrum okay you don't have to answer or uh, there might be some truth and false questions as well or you have to rate a certain thing from one to five but the thing is that you have to be extremely fast. I think there are around 150 questions that you have to solve in uh, 30 minutes. And there is a time limit of every section. You have 30 minutes for uh, for psychometric, you have 25 minutes for your descriptive, and the rest of the paper is for your aptitude and GK. Okay. Uh, no, Suman, uh, that is disclosed uh, after the end of the paper. It's not given to you at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the paper. Yes, you can answer that question. Uh, I'm not uh, extremely clear on the exact number of questions that keeps on changing. I think last time it was either 100 or 150. I'm not exactly sure of that because Maika does not really uh, releases their questions paper and no one really remembers how many questions are there. So it's normally in that range. It could be less as well. I'm not exactly sure. Okay. So that is for the psychometric part. These are some free psychometric tests that you can take. I'll be sharing the hyperlinks with you people towards the end of the lecture. Okay. Uh, and I'll make a separate post about that, about this as well. Okay. So there are 16 personalities and this is an order of priority that you are supposed to take, right? One to five. 
this is the most reliable this is the least reliable uh, not not to suggest that number 5 is not reliable at all but comparatively it is less reliable than number 1 okay so take all of these try to understand the structure of the paper try to understand what exactly psychometric questions are structured like okay try to be as fast as you can try to take these uh, these test at least two to three times and ensure that every single time your results are consistent if your personality type is changing every single time then you are making some sort of a mistake okay you just have to be yourself you just have to be honest do not ever try to lie on a psychometric test it will not work you will bomb your entire paper if you try to do that okay no you are not supposed to avoid anything just be honest if you think that the answer should be extreme be extreme don't worry about that they are not exactly a replica of my guide it will just give you an idea as to how the questions are supposed to be okay no jamin you can't do that you have to stick to the time limit uh not exactly a mentally stable person they just want to test your personality that's all yes akshi i'll do that don't worry okay uh yeah go you can do that no problem can we skip the question in the section no you can't you cannot skip any questions in psychometric you have to attend everything if you skip it will not be uh, you will not be your rest of the paper will not be well and math may you can skip questions no and math is cbt uh, this is not a computer adaptive test right this is just a computer based test the questions are independent of one another it's just that you can't skip any questions in psychometric you can skip questions in aptitude part okay it's not about negative marking there are no right answers there are no wrong answers you just have to take that as a given okay uh, i can actually open one of these 16 personalities right uh, give me a second let me try to actually show the structure of the questions can you see the chrome window no okay just give me a second works now it keeps on changing there is negative marking sometimes sometimes there isn't but there is sectional uh, sectional score sectional cut off which also keeps on changing so stuff like this you enjoy vibrant social events with lots of people so obviously you don't really need to be a rocket scientist to understand that if you uh, if you click on agree you are most likely to be most likely to be an extrovert okay if you are somewhere here you are likely to be an ambivert if you are here you are likely to be an uh, introvert okay so you get asked questions like these on probably a smaller spectrum this is i think a bit too big so let's just click on disagree for everything let's see how it goes you guys can read the questions right i mean any of i'll be posting the link so you can take it yourself i'm just trying to show you how the results are supposed to look like uh i am not exactly sure of that sakshi i really haven't done any research on nmet to be honest we leave nmet on gorov yes uh scale in this case is a bit too large but then again this is just to give you an idea about the examination you can definitely take your mocks for an exact replica my gender is female so results so i am introverted i am observant i am feeling i am nature feeling okay i am prospecting and i am turbulent i am isfpt what does that mean i don't even know so basically you get this entire text you can read that out at your own leisure okay this makes sense samajh aaya sabko ki karna kya hota hai kya hota hai exactly okay so that is majority it for psychometric part 
I don't really think that we need to spend any more time on uh, more time discussing something that doesn't really merit any sort of discussion in the first place. So if you have any, if you don't, if you guys don't have any questions, then we'll jump directly to descriptive part. Any questions? Beta cat ho gaya. Why are you worried about that? It, uh, around 50, 30 percent weightage, 30 to 50 percent weightage is given to cat as well. My cat is also important for the shortlisting part, but cat is done and dusted. You don't really have to worry about it. It's not in your hands. Focus on my cat. Okay. Sir, ये हमारे बारे में सच बोलता है. Yes. Yes, Jayant. It is exactly like that. Agree to disagree, or most likely to least likely, etc. etc. डेढ़ सौ क्वेश्चन पच्चीस मिनट में हो जाते हैं तीस मिनट में बिटा यस हो जाते हैं नॉर्मली बट टाइमिंग कैन ऑल्सो चेंज बी रिमेंबर दैट द टाइमिंग कैन ऑल्सो चेंज ओके ये साल ही एक्चुअल में टाइमिंग थोड़ा सा कम हुआ है और नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन नॉर्मली कंसिस्टेंट रहते हैं माई कैट के अंदर वो कम नहीं होते नहीं ना मन नहीं रहेंगे वो क्वालिफाइंग स्कूल चाहिए होता है ओके सो लेट्स मूव टू डिस्क्रिप्टिव Do you know what descriptive section is? Let me actually just brief it out a bit. So, basically, in Maya, you have your psychometric section, you have your descriptive section, and you have your aptitude section. You have your normal ap, uh, VA, LR, DR, VA, LR, and Quant and GK in your aptitude, and of course, let's consider GK as a separate subject itself. Okay. You have already seen the questions in the sample paper, so I don't really think that we need to talk about uh, aptitude and GK. We will touch briefly upon GK. Okay. So let's first come to descriptive. We have already discussed psychometric. In descriptive, you have two types of questions. Okay. One is creative writing. One is argument writing. Okay. What is creative writing? We will cover that in a bit. Let's first come to argument writing. In argument writing, you will be given either one or two topics. Okay. Normally, you are given a choice between two topics. So let's call them topic A and topic B. what you are supposed to do is that you are supposed to pick any one topic out of the two and you are supposed to do three things with it you are supposed to write something in favor or for for the argument okay something against the argument okay and something that reflects your own view okay i'll just repeat this out you are supposed to pick one topic and you are supposed to write something for the argument something against the argument and something that is your own viewpoint you can write them in points or you can write them in paragraphs or in essay format whichever you want okay i'll personally suggest write in pointed uh, point manner so that it's easier to review when you actually going through everything okay but it's again not really a hard and fast rule you can do that in whichever way you want the word limit 300 words each okay that is 300 for this 300 for this 300 Hundred for this and three hundred for this. The uh, creative writing. Okay. Now here's the important part. Let's consider an example. What was the topic that I gave you guys earlier in the morning? I gave you two topics. Uh, name any one of them. So yes, rebranding of fairness schemes is a missed step. That was the topic that I gave you guys. So let's talk about that. Can you be in favor of this? Definitely yes. okay you can you can have a lot of valid points around this that why this is uh, this is a mess that that you are just rebranding things without actually fundamentally changing everything you are still running the same ads the same in the same format okay you are basically proving the same point that uh, girls will girls or females will get a lot of success if they are fair and you are basically judging people based on their outer appearances so on and so forth okay then if you are supposed to write something in favor uh, against the argument then you have to sub, uh, then you have to be against it you basically have to write something that suggests that this is not a mess step okay how can you say that that at least this is a step right it is better than doing the same thing over and over again we are making we are taking baby steps okay that is better than nothing it might not mean much but it is still a step in the right direction this is not a mess step okay and then you have to give your own view do remember that when we talk about giving our own view you cannot be diplomatic ambiguous or neutral you have to pick a side if you are being neutral your paper will not be evaluated this makes sense you have to pick a side 
do not try to be diplomatic of course you can also get some abstract topics and it is definitely a bit difficult to pick a, uh, to not be diplomatic in terms of abstract topics but you generally get the gist that whenever there is a clear line between right and wrong you have to take a side okay you either have to be with the argument or against the argument so try not to repeat your points when you're writing in favor of it okay for instance uh, let's again go back to the same example let's say that you have written three points here three points here then whatever points you write here try not to repeat the same points that you have written here or here okay okay for instance if you're writing against it then you try then you should try not to repeat the same points okay uh it has to be with your own perspective right if you are already given the assignment right that you have to write in favor of this then you are already limiting the scope that you cannot go against that when you are writing some against the argument you are again limiting the scope when you are writing your own view you can say that oh, i somewhat agree with it uh, i come so not i don't totally disagree with it or i don't totally agree with it but still i am not totally divided with it okay for instance i think that this is not a complete or a gigantic massive step i think it is a good step in the right direction but that doesn't really amount to anything it is just a missed direction because their branding around that thing has not changed then you can also take certain examples like uh, take the example of fair and lovely to glow and lovely or whatever the new name is okay that they have rebranded themselves okay that is a good step but their ads the con the base content the base uh, scope the base theme of the ads have not changed that is the massive step okay so you are not being diplomatic you are definitely taking a side but you are still not uh, you are definitely not getting into any side of the extreme okay this makes sense uh no achit try to write strong points for both uh sachi i haven't gone through that uh, give me i'll go through that after the after the session can to be a cervic don't get me anything uh no they just see you can definitely do that some topics will again let's go back to the classic child labor example right let's say the topic is is child labor a good thing okay you can write in favor of it you can write against it and definitely your view are going to be a bit extreme for a topic like this this makes sense uh no it is not mentioned normally it's between 3 to 5 depending upon the word limit so normally if you are writing even a single point it has to be uh within the prescribed limit of 100 words per point so i don't really think it is possible to write any decent decent decently written point in less than 100 words so i think 3 to 4 points should be more enough uh i don't really think that that uh, that you can normally do that ayush it totally depends upon the topic you are not supposed to take both, both sides you are not supposed to take an extreme but you are still supposed to take a side okay some extreme answers are also acceptable for instance you really have a strong view of it but i am just i was just giving an example i am not saying that this is the ideal way to do uh, to go ahead with that i was just giving an example you can definitely take any sort of extreme side as well this that's not a problem can our viewpoint be diplomatic try not to do that you have to take a side in general i mean certain topics will demand a diplomatic answer so it's more or more or less context dependent but from a generic standpoint from a general standpoint try not to be diplomatic i'll come to that as within a second uh i'll come to that as the as in what exactly they are looking for okay so uh so the thing is if you if you are given a bunch of pictures okay do you know what a raw stack te test is uh have you guys seen have you guys read the comic watchman okay voice issue is it fine now okay so uh let me again give an example so we have this thing called rover scack i am not exactly sure of the spelling exactly stuff like this so you are given cards like these and you are supposed to tell what do you you see on that okay so for instance what do you see in this image 
बैट आठ सिकादा बटरफ्लाई वाइड हुआ ऐसी असासन स्क्रीट्स लोगो दे मेन करैक्टर ऑफ असासन स्क्रीट सो दैट इज द थिंग राइट दैट स्टफ लाइक दिस बेसिकली चेक्स योर माइंड एज इन व्हाट एग्जैक्टली डू यू सी इन समथिंग दैट इज रिलेटिवली एब्स्ट्रैक्ट एंड व्हाट यू सी बेसिकली टेल्स अ लॉट अबाउट योर पर्सनालिटी ओके for instance if you are seeing food if you are seeing something butterfly some sort of bird then you are relatively a happy person if you are seeing an assassin if you are seeing a bat then you are relatively a sad person normally if you are seeing transformers and everything you are mentally retarded okay so this is one way to judge sanity right i think in a lot of ways what you write after seeing a certain image works in a similar fashion but it also gives you a lot of other points as well it gives you an insight into the person's brain right so the idea here is that obviously it is there to test your grammar it is there to test your reasoning imagination creativity okay and even your writing skills but it also to a certain extent tests who you are as a human being what do you see in a certain situation okay so that is the idea that we normally go by okay so let one of these what do you see in this in this one ईगल बटरफ्लाई विच विच का स्पेलिंग गलत है बेटा पोकेमोन आई ऑल्सो सो अ पोकेमोन सो इफ यू सी वन यू आर ऑफिशियली अनर्ड बट आई थिंक so the idea basically remains the same that it works as a kind of it works kind of as a roskak test a roskak test okay and it also tests your grammar your reasoning skills your imagination your creativity your writing skills so on and so forth okay this makes sense are i was just saying so stuff like this basically the entire writing section is supposed to work as some sort of a personality test as well as it is supposed to test your grammar your reasoning skills your imagination your creativity and your writing skills amongst other things okay so total you are supposed to write 1200 words 300 300 300 and 300 for the creative writing okay of course this is for the argument writing part this is to test your logical sk uh, skills something along the essay writing thing that you have been doing the creative writing part is i think the most interesting thing in the entire paper okay this is something that we'll talk about in a while yes it is anuj okay so in total you are supposed to write 1200 words in around 30 20 uh, 25 minutes which roughly translates to 1200 by 25 48 words per minute okay which is not really a big deal but it is a big deal when you are trying to type for words per minute while constructing as well okay so to try to practice this okay to type things out to writing speed is yes type it is not a pen and paper based examination voice issue aa raha hai acha let me uh, Let me just change my line one second. Give me one minute. No, forty-eight words per minute isn't huge. I am sharing sources. Time yourself. So. Oh, uh, that's Zoom. I disconnect for a second. I'm just changing internet connection. One minute, okay. uh is it fine now does this work now okay it's a computer based examination so you have to type out everything okay i hope there are no more any no more voice issues 
I did not realize, realize I was on the poor internet connection. Sorry about that. Now you are normally given two argument topics. You are supposed to pick one and then you're supposed to write between them. But normally the articles that are shared are more or less on the same lines, more or less on the same lines. Okay. So this is for the uh, argument writing part. Just an overview. We'll again talk more about this. Any questions so far? No, you have to write it for the same topic. You can't switch. I'll come to the chat. Just one minute. No, uh, you are not supposed to choose between CW and AW. You have you are given options in creative writing. You will be basically given either two picture sets or something, and you are given two argument topics in argument writing. Both of them are mandatory. You have to do your uh, creative writing, and you have to do your argument writing. In both of these, you will be given answer of uh, you will be given options. Twenty five minutes, Kushbu. Yes, Aditya, you need to. No, Vita, it's not an issue. Nahi aega. Okay, obviously, when we normally see stuff like this, we tend to get intimidated. But you can practice it easily. Forty eight words per minute is way below average. It's the zada yoga sabka speed. Don't worry. No, Vita, grammar is allowed. Not. ऊपर बस एक काउंटर होगा कि कितने वर्ड्स टाइप कर लिए और कुछ नहीं होगा ये साक्षी सी देर इज नो देर आर नो सिली क्वेश्चन डोंट वरी कैन आस्क दैट इज अ रियली सिली क्वेश्चन ऑब्वियसली यू हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ इट योर सेल्फ Uh, see, Kanishka, try to write as much as you can. That's all. Okay. Once you take, uh, once you basically go through the entire paper. Okay, I'll share a few more resources as well. Then, it's just you have to write a good argument. You have to write a good story. That's all that matters. There is a limit. Okay, that you have to write around twelve hundred words. So even thousand will do. Even nine hundred will do. Okay, but the idea basically. Somewhat, uh, somewhat is restricted to the fact that if you can write more, why won't you? Okay, you have to come up with valid points. Uh, it is center based, most probably. Your personality and your writing skills, among other things. Yes, Aksha, make sure. I'll come to that eventually in a minute. Uh, I'll come to all of this. पच्चीस मिनट में दोनों यस दैट्स वाई वी आर राइट एट फोर्टी एट राइट इतना मैच आता है ना सबको तब भी सबका क्वांट अच्छा नहीं हुआ कैट का बारह सौ बाई पच्चीस क्या होता है बेटा फोर्टी एट ही होता है ना मेरी एक मैच तो खराब नहीं हो गई ठीक है सो Yeah, Anand, you sure can. Not a problem. Okay, so that was for the argument writing part. Let me now come to the creative writing part. Okay, so basically, you have to write for, you have to write against, and you have to write your own view for the uh, argument writing part. Okay, this is just a summary. If you guys have any further questions around this, okay, so these are nine hundred words. That you have to write for the argument writing, but this obviously can change. Probably they might restrict it to two hundred and two fifty words. So you obviously need to take care of the uh, instructions before you start uh, start out with the paper. Be extra vigilant about the word limit. Extra vigilant about the word limit. Do not exceed word limit. Thoda do five words se chalta hai, but usse zada nahi karna. Okay. Haan, ji, beta, aa sakte hai. Abstract topics bhi. Yes, Sumant. Point should be strong. It could be personal. It could be fact based. It could be anything else. Okay. Uh, I'll come to that. Obviously. हाँ जी बेटा practice शुरू करवा दी है सुबह ही दो ऐसे topic डाले थे 
कल एक बुक अपडेट की थी पढ़ने के लिए कि क्रिएटिव स्टोरी राइटिंग वाला पार्ट कैसे कर सकते हैं वर्ड काउंट बेटा कम नहीं पड़ेगा इतना टाइम नहीं मिलेगा आपको उसका चिंता मत करो नहीं बेटा वो इलेवन फिफ्टी नाइन फिफ्टी नाइन पे क्लोज हो जाएगा उसके ऊपर मैं लीफे नहीं दूंगा सॉरी आई कम टू दैट प्रिया वन मिनट ओके सी कैलाश आई एम अ डिप्रेस्ड पर्सन ओके इफ वन इफ आई ट्राई टू राइट अ फनी और अ हैप्पी स्टोरी सम हाउ द मेन कैरेक्टर एंड ऑफ डाइंग और कमिटिंग सुसाइड आई एम नॉट इवन जोकिंग वेन आई से दिस प्रिटी मच एवरी सिंगल शॉर्ट स्टोरी दैट आई ट्राई टू राइट इन द पास्ट थ्री और थ्री टू फोर ईयर्स इज डिप्रेसिंग लेट मी एक्चुअली शो यू समथिंग I started writing this blog when I was in sixth standard. I mean, I started writing poetry when I was in sixth standard. Okay, my handle was social outcast. So, in case you are ever wondering, that who Hani ke video pe kisne comment kiya tha? Okay. So, बस ये Hani को नहीं बताना है, ठीक है? So, this is the sort of poetry that I used to write when I was i think 7 or 8 years old okay even that was depressing and it hasn't changed much after that it's pretty much still the same so really when i say that it has to be happy or i would be able to give my own samples i don't really think i can do that but that's not really a good idea for you people i'll check your stories but i can't share mine isliye <laughs> i shared that entire बुकलेट विथ यू गैस की उसके अंदर आई थिंक देर आर फोर्टी और फिफ्टी स्टोरीज ओके सो देर इज दैट हाँ जी बेटा वही पी डी एफ वाला ओके and yes there are a few tips for story story writing part so let's actually first talk about the story writing part in second no han ji beta maine share kiya ek baar aap group check karo ye practice group wala usme sab kuch updated hai my get karke bhi search karoge to bhi aapko sari cheeze mil jayengi ठीक है वो सारे के सारे टैक्टिंग पोस्ट सो यू विल बी इजीली यू विल इजीली बी एबल टू फाइंड देम सो लेट्स टॉक लेट्स नॉट टॉक अबाउट द स्टोरी राइटिंग और द क्रिएटिव राइटिंग पार्ट सो इन दिस सेगमेंट यू विल बी गिवन अ सीक्वेंस ऑफ इमेजेस ओके एंड दैट सीक्वेंस माइट चेंज समटाइम्स इट कुड बी अ सिंगल इमेज समटाइम्स इट कुड बी टू images sometimes it could be 4 5 6 or even more than that images okay i think the mo- the most that they've go- uh, gone with is six set of uh, six different images okay what you are supposed to do beta ek bar suno uske baad questions puchna theek hai so what you are supposed to do here is that you have to first finalize your order of images the order that you are going with okay you have to i think there is a separate text box for that if not you will still uh, depending upon the instructions sometimes they ask you to input the order sometimes they don't ask you to do that okay they are not really clear on that so read the instructions carefully around this okay normally you are supposed to write the structure uh, write the order of this, order of the images that you are picking so for instance let's say there are four images 1 2 3 and 4 okay let's say these are a b c and d and let's say that you are going with dbca okay then you have to write dbca and then you have to write your entire story in any format that you want normally obviously when you are writing any sort of story stories are not written in bullet points or uh, lists okay it they are normally written in essay or narrative format okay so descriptive or narrative format so try to be extra vigilant about that that you do not confuse the story writing part and start writing with argument writing part and start writing it like an essay or an argument 
or something related to the same thing okay so be extra vigilant about this normally you are given a choice between two different image sets okay and you have to pick one select which one do you like the most okay input your sequence and then go ahead with the entire story normally and here's a really good trick that i can give you guys in any any case of creative or logical ability problem when i say logical ability i normally mean puzzles okay whatever is the first thought that pops into your mind uh, among seeing the images or among seeing the puzzle is has to be eliminated in 99% of the cases okay because most of us have the same level of understanding when we first look at something okay normally you are supposed to get past that first or the first level of thinking first order of thinking and then think something more than that that's i think the definition of creativity in itself okay that you are supposed to look beyond normal so do not be generic and once you start writing your stories right you will actually understand this that this normally happens okay so try to actually uh, practice this as well that whatever is the first idea that you normally come up with try to eliminate that idea and try to think of something new okay practice at least two argument writings every day okay and practice at least two stories every day because we have like five days to go for right so it's just going to be 10 article argument writing and 10 story writing which i don't really think is a significant number okay but still we have to practice enough yeah four days so there are just eight of them including two of today i already gave you guys a lot of sample stories to read from five uh, five image sequences so they are there and i'll share a, a few more apart from the, them as well yeah you can do that akush the minimum that you're supposed to do is to each okay yes hasta normally you're supposed to do that uske baad nahi continue rahenge sir beta uske baad fir we are basically focusing on mica because it is just one week away obviously january wale ke andar we will start to do that once the exam is near by once mica it is over we will shift our focus to snap and mat zat and ift obviously okay and obviously all of these resources are not something that we will just delete all of it once mica it one is over you can anyhow use them right that's totally fine kanika i just have to be creative we just has to be creative okay so that is the basic structure of the descriptive writing section we will talk more about that in detail now okay i understand you guys still have a lot of questions and i'll cover every single one of them don't worry about that okay these are just three slides out of i think 15 so i think i thought of every possible question and i already thought uh, wrote the answer wrote the answer for it yes so first things first read a lot okay this applies this is majorly for the story writing part but the first two points apply to the argument writing part as well okay read a lot of short stories do you guys remember i used to share a lot of short stories with you people earlier in the day when we were just uh, reading daily articles and everything i used to share that every now and then so i'll make a new post with you people uh, i'll make a new post in the group i'll share at least 10 15 10 15 20 sto short stories links to very short stories in that okay try to read as many of them as possible okay so i'll just note it down somewhere that i need to post link of short stories post short stories okay in case i do not post them by tomorrow please remind me okay then you are supposed to write a lot and you are supposed to write a lot of stories practice from a lot of sources okay what are the sources so far firstly you are supposed to complete that creative writing book that i gave you guys okay because you have a lot of stories that you can also check after that okay i think there are five or six image sets in that book okay try to cover it within the next 3 days and then i'll give you some additional sets as well okay so that is something to uh, to get you started out with i think by the time you are done with that book my cat my cat is on or my cat is going to be over so and we already have quite a few image sets prepared from 
from previous sessions so i don't think that's going to be a problem okay lastly you are supposed to be creative by not accepting the first idea that pops into your head and here is something that i personally do not really agree with but this has somehow worked for a lot of people okay so take it with a pinch of salt normally what people do is that they all they think of a story before and something generic okay as in there's a main character he is wearing xyz xyz happens to that xyz character and he does abc in order to get out of that conflict blah 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 okay and they fit that story by using some of the details that are available in the images because the advantage with with this strategy is that it gives you a lot of time to think okay because obviously you uh, even if you start now you will still have four or five days to think right you can come up with a pretty solid story with a pretty solid pretty creative story in four to five days okay but it also has a major drawback is that it doesn't really reflect your creativity what normally myka mycat is trying to test is your on the spot creativity if you have to think uh, creatively if you have to basically cheat around that i don't really think that it's a it's i don't really think it's a good idea to do that basically but then again there's a strategy to crack an examination we are here, here to just tell you how to crack examination okay the rest is up to you people okay exactly this is like playing playing with probabilities and restricting yourself so i'll just repeat this part so what people normally do is some of the people that, uh, what they do is is they think of a generic story okay and again there is nothing wrong with having a defined template in your mind that i am going to write my story in a certain manner that's totally okay a lot of people do that okay that i'm going to start out with this particular uh, this particular statement or i'm going to use x y z quotes or i'm going to use a b c specifically you guys can remember a lot of quotes from a lot of others to be used in your argument writing section okay but when we normally talk about story writing people uh, story writing section i don't really think that it's any uh, there is any there is anything wrong in having a structure having a defined structure some people take it a step a step forward and they also think of a proper story that they can then basically fill into any sort of image structure structure that is given to them okay so take a pick see what works for you okay and then you can move ahead with that uh jayant see that also requires creativity right <laughs> exactly aditi a lot of authors basically use the same structure over and over again when they are writing a lot of different novels right so for instance if you pick up pick out any sort of best seller or let's say if you pick out any chetan bhagat book it normally follows the same procedure over and over again okay there is a middle class guy okay he meets someone okay they basically have sex and then something happens some sort of a stupid conflict then again for some reason a lot of people again end up having sex and then again the story ends because that's what sells in india right so i don't really see anything wrong with that if you are basically trying to do that but again that sort of defeats the purpose of the examination uh no jayant i don't really think that's possible G generic stories kya hoti beta ek ka raja ek thariyani dono mar gaye khatam kahani wo tarike ki cheeze unko isse zyada generic to kya ho sakta hai okay <laughs> no you can't i'll pref i'll prefer not to you can do whatever you want in your examination i'll personally recommend not to use any vernacular terms or any vernacular slangs or any vernacular idioms or any vernacular proverbs in your story or your creative writing section that just contains uh, that just contains creative writing not argument writing why should we avoid writing depressing stories it just what i have realized over time is that uh, i mean this is just my experience speaking is it when we normally write depressing stories right it doesn't particularly reflect creativity in itself creativity is normally associated with positive things in in a really generic in a really in a really normal way of looking at things exactly because marketing is normally about the feel good factor okay 
it can have a moral end actually this is why i basically gave you guys a pdf try to uh, see the structure throughout the story hardly any of these stories are going to be dark okay most of them are positive because creativity is normally associated with that that doesn't really mean that you can't write a dark and creative story at the same time but normally for certain reason people tend to not to do that it's totally fine if you want to write a dark story i don't really see anything wrong with that uh no sharad i don't really think that you are supposed to do that that's totally fine if you want to make philosophical points sure go ahead that uh, marketing and all is completely bull crap and at the end of the day we should all kill ourselves because human consciousness was a tragic misstep in evolution you can write that not a problem but a story beta the message of the story is creative right what is the message of the story see you can give the same story in a lot of different ways okay you can write a story about how a person is killing someone but how you are writing that entire story how you are defining that one scene can also have a significant impact on what that communicates okay think of it this way jab kisi hollywood movie ke andar koi bus palatti hai कोई कार पलटती है उसका कुछ सिग्निफिकेंस होता है जब रोहित शेट्टी की मूवी में पलटती है उसका कोई सिग्निफिकेंस नहीं होता है ठीक है दैट इज क्रिएटिविटी दैट वी नॉर्मली टॉक अबाउट दैट इज नॉर्मली ओवर लुक्ड इन अलॉट ऑफ थिंग्स ओके सो दैट एग्जैक्टली इज समथिंग दैट इज समथिंग दैट यू आर सपोज टू टारगेट दैट इज समथिंग दैट यू आर सपोज टू बी ऑन द लुक आउट फॉर ओके सो लेट्स मूव ऑन फ्रॉम दिस एंड ऑफकोर्स वेन यू आर राइटिंग ऑल ऑफ दैट बी श्योर टू बी क्विक okay do not take a lot of time think think on your feet start writing think while you are writing okay i'll come to that someone one minute nahi beta plagiarism tum kaise karoge stories ke andar images hatho hath dekh ke tum wahan pe kaun se gabriel garcia marquez ki story likh paoge okay then this is for argument writing a lot of you were wondering ki if we do not know anything about the topic we are not able to come up with decent valid points we are not able to come up with a lot of points how exactly you are supposed to do that uh, deal with that okay the only logical solution to that problem is that you are supposed to be aware of what's going around you okay you are supposed to know how the world what's happening in the world you are supposed to be aware of geopolitical issues you are supposed to know uh, the positives and negatives and everything okay no there are no extra points see no one actually knows on what parameters maika judges your story or your entire descriptive session okay so whatever we basically say is just a prediction but the normal scenario is that anything that gives you a wow factor anything that gives you pleasure to read okay so a story can be extremely good and boring at the same time right we have seen examples of that because you have seen that story so many times people are now uh, bored of it even though the story in itself is not bad okay at the same time the idea could be extremely old but it could be presented in a manner that is extremely creative okay so for instance consider the idea of a love story right i don't think that i think the uh i can't even recall what was the time frame where there hadn't existed any sort of love stories in the past right but they have presented the same idea of a love story over and over again in a lot of different manners okay and every single time it seems a bit more creative right but the underlying idea is the same it's just being presented in a different manner at the same time the idea could be relatively new for instance there was a movie of john abraham i think called no smoking that was a brilliant and a really really creative idea but i think it was presented in a manner that wasn't creative at all okay so all of that all of that basically uh, works around it that your idea could be really creative but the implementation could be bad the way it is written could be extremely bad or your idea could be extremely old or extremely generic but the way it is presented could be really creative for instance there was another movie called eternal sunshine of the spotless mind okay they combined two very generic concepts okay and they combined it in a manner that was extremely creative 
Okay, so all of that is something that you guys can deal with. That is what defines the creativity in itself. I have re- not seen that movie. I've just heard that it's a creative way of looking at things. I don't even know what two elements are combined. Okay. Yes, Agush, it can be. You just have to write and read. I have been giving you guys so many reading assignments throughout the year. I don't really think you are. You can even tell yourself that you are not prepared for that. <laughs> uh, that is some sort of plagiarism, right? And that is why I'm such. Suggest- I'm saying that this is not the way you should be doing things. And okay, so be aware of the geopolitical issues, and specifically, this will help with your GK as well, right? So. Yes, Archit, you can have open and open ended endings. That's not a problem. This will help you with GK as well. Obviously, you'll we'll have to cover your GK part as well. So that will give you some sort of an idea about a lot of geopolitical issues. But the underlying idea is that when you are reading a lot of generic topics, like right, try to understand the fundamental idea. So specifically in the current day and age, okay, most of the people only know one side of the story. Right. So let's take the example of recent farm bills. Right. There are, at least on social media, there just appear to be two extremely polarized sides. People who are calling the entire farmer, uh, the entire population who are protesting Khalistanis and terrorists, and there is an entire population of people who are supporting these farmers and saying that they are right in their protests. They are not doing anything wrong. I personally haven't seen anyone being rational enough to have a middle ground on this. Okay. So, it should not be the case that you are only aware of one side and you do not know literally anything about the other side. Okay. So, why are farmers protesting? You guys need to know that. Okay. What's wrong with their protests? You need to know that as well. Okay. What? What's my stand? That's relevant. Doesn't really matter. Uh, yes, Haris. Def- definitely, because it just makes it more structured. Okay. So. Again, the same idea. You have to be. Can we use fake stats? No, <laughs> don't do that. Be quick. There isn't going to be enough time. Just like in the story writing section, okay. Write in favor of the argument. Write against the argument, okay. And obviously, the more valid and well thought out your points are, the more facts you are using and everything, the better it is going to be. The better it's going to. Uh, it's going to. It's going to be in terms of reading, okay. This makes sense. Take a clear stance. Obviously, this is something that we've already talked about, and you have to practice a lot. Just the articles that I'm posting earlier, and practice for your GK as well. Okay. See, not everything has to be factually dependent. It's like you either know the facts or you don't. Right. It's not like that. If you are given a certain topic, you can think, and then you will remember certain facts. That's not how it works. You either know the facts or you don't. If you do not know the facts, skip. Right. Or don't use facts. As simple as that. I'll come to that, Sakshi. No, that's not a problem, Anuj. It just has to be valid. Right. You cannot be too polarized uh, for certain things. As in. Child labor ki baat karte papa se. If you are just talking about child labor, obviously you can't have a polarized answer in the negative way here. That you cannot have an extremely polarized an- answer that says that every sort of child labor is justified. Okay, even to an extent where you start to end up justifying uh, child prostitution or something around that. Okay, because these are the sort of sensitive topics where there is only a limit to which you can agree to that. Agree to it because. Normally, they are considered a taboo when you are normally talking about topics like these. Okay, so obviously, you can have your own viewpoint, but you cannot be too polarized about these. Okay, exactly. Bhavna hai, dikhani hai, par bhena nahi hai. It has to be given. A, so they are basically in three different. Uh, they are basically three different questions, right? You will be given a topic, then one window for for, one window for against, one window for your own viewpoint. Okay, that's how you are supposed to do that. Uh, I share more, uh, Jay. Don't worry. As I said, I'll be sharing the personality links. I'll be sharing a lot of short stories as well. Don't worry about that. Okay, 
this make sense so here's a really classic example how writing how using certain words can affect your entire writing try this exercise right this is your sentence try to insert the word only after before every single word in the sentence see how it goes let me know once you see what i'm trying to show you एक वर्ड से अपन काफी कुछ चेंज कर सकते हैं ओके दिस इज आई थिंक द मोस्ट पावरफुल राइटिंग टिप आउट देयर यू डोंट रियली नीड टू यूज अ लॉट ऑफ फ्लैगरिंग वर्ड्स इन ऑर्डर टू बी अ बेटर राइटर यू कैन यूज सिंपलिस्टिक वर्ड्स इन अ वे दैट मेक्स योर कंटेंट मोर रीडेबल ओके सो इट डजेंट रियली चेंजेस द सेंटेंस राइट बट इट चेंजेस द वे इट इज रिटर्न इट चेंजेस द practical meaning of the sentence depending upon where you are placing this word only she told him she only told him she told only him okay that is how modifier works that is how an adjective works verb works okay we have briefly touched upon this in our grammar sessions as well so try to understand this basic concept that sometimes even wonder, even thinking about these small things can help you a long way this makes sense exactly sure is everyone clear with this okay let's move on and here is an answer that here is the question that some of you have already asked should you use incomprehensible vocabulary should you use heavy words okay in order for your essay to look better should you learn lot of new words in order to just vomit them out on your essays or on your in your stories or should you use very rich vocabulary the clear answer is no achhi vocabulary use karne se tumhare essay tumhara content acha nahi ho jayega theek hai more or less jahan pe agar tumko agar tum try karoge for instance to use difficult or complex vocabulary chances are you will end up using a word that you fully do not understand and you will end up hurting your own chances to be absolutely honest to be absolutely practical around this if you know the words well obviously that would that would already imply that you already know how to use the words that will imply that you already are good at written communication and at that point you don't have to worry about that right that is something that is natural to you be natural in your stories be natural in your essays do not try to force anything obviously it doesn't really mean ki apan bilkul hi aise bol chal wali english likh kar aa rahe hain it has to be formal okay you need to use some good words but it doesn't mean that it has to be a verbal diarrhea right this makes sense the point is that the essay is the story should communicate the point right you aren't supposed to make a lot of mistakes there this makes sense and of course sometimes you will end up making those mistakes that instead of perspective you are using view that there is no uh, that there is no perspective from the window or you are trying to fill wind in the football right do not make those type of mistakes but there is a caveat of course jahan pe apan acche words use kar sakte hain wahan pe apan ko karna hai that's what separates mediocre writing from good writing use honey instead of very ugly okay use a group of words instead of flock so on and so forth okay you are supposed to know one word substitutions you anyhow study you anyhow need to study them for ift as well for nmat as well i think not for nmat for snap as well okay as far as i can remember so try to at least remember some uh, some basic terminologies around us uh, around these there are a lot of words that you can use in order to get better at these okay this makes sense uh nl would be fine for it sure i also have some material prepared for it i'll share that with you people don't worry hideous isn't a bit too extreme no not really we have very ugly very ugly is exact is the exact meaning of hideous okay this makes sense exactly very ugly is also extreme 
एंड ऑफ कोर्स यू नीड टू वरी अबाउट योर ग्रामर इसीलिए अभी जितने भी असाइनमेंट्स प्रैक्टिस कर रहे हो यूज ग्रामरली ओके गो थ्रू दी इजी हैंडबुक एंड रेन एंड मार्टिन वट एवर यू आर कंफर्टेबल विद एटलीस्ट वंस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ग्रामर हाउ सेंटेंस आर स्ट्रक्चर सोन एंड सो फोर्थ ओके सो गुड ग्रामर इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू आर मेकिंग अ लॉट ऑफ ग्रामेटिकल मिस्टेक्स इवन इफ द कंटेंट इज गुड ओके इट विल not seem readable because people who are going to read your paper will going are going to be picky about your grammar the thing is when you are speaking your grammar isn't as noticeable right but when you are writing something it just it just speaks it just screams out right that there is uh, this is incorrect structure this is an incorrect uh, incorrect word or there is an incorrect usage using there instead of there so on and so forth right do not make any noticeable grammatical mistakes at least so it's totally fine to make that those g uh, gmat 700 sentence correction level mistakes that's totally fine because that doesn't normally that isn't normally noticeable when you are taking the examination when you are just reading out a story in a really fast paced environment okay but try not to make any grammatical errors that are noticeable or easy to spot okay this makes sense it should be corrected you can just keep a note of it ki yahan pe correct correct karna hai directly laptop pe beta kyun kar rahe ho paper ke upar jab type karna hai eventually theek okay. hai this makes sense and of course do not repeat do not be redundant because already word limit kam hai already time kam hai बार बार रिटेंडेंसी लगा के चीजों को रिपीट करके यू आर ओनली गोइंग टू मेक मेटर्स वर्स फॉर योर सेल्फ ओके टेक्निकल जार्गन वगैरह मत यूज करना कभी भी ठीक है योर स्टोरी शुड बी कॉम्प्रीहेंसिबल समझ में आनी चाहिए कि क्या लिखा है ठीक है आर्ग्यूमेंट समझ में आना चाहिए कि क्या हुआ है कभी ऐसा टॉपिक आ जाए जिससे तुम बहुत ही ज्यादा कंफर्टेबल हो वो चीज के अंदर भी ट्राई नॉट टू यूज एनी इंडस्ट्री स्पेसिफिक स्लोग एनी इंडस्ट्री स्पेसिफिक जार्गन okay this makes sense third sentence hai but nahi aani chahiye kahan pe are beta ho sakta hai aani chahiye dekha nahi maine koi baat nahi कहां पे पहुंच गए अपन थर्ड सेंटेंस के अंदर कॉमा भी कॉमा से भी चल सकते हैं दिस इज आल्सो फाइन बल्कि बिना कॉमा के भी चल जाएगा एक बार के लिए तो टोटली फाइन ठीक है और अगर अपन कोई डायलॉग्स यूज कर रहे हैं बिकॉज डायलॉग्स से नॉर्मली स्टोरी टेलिंग नहीं होती है इन अ जनरल स्कीम ऑफ थिंग्स सो उनको भी जितना छोटा हो सकते हो छोटा कर सकते हो उतना छोटा लिखना है ओके okay? बेटा टाइपिंग करके अगर टाइपिंग स्पीड कम है तो ऐसा नहीं होगा ना कि ऐसे स्क्राइब दे देंगे कि ये लो ये रहा एक लड़का कॉलेज का या ये रही एक लड़की पंद्रह साल की रोज व्हाट्सएप पे पचा पाँच सौ वर्ड्स पर मिनट टाइप करती है ये कर देगी तुम्हारा पेपर ऐसे नहीं होगा ना करनापन को ये ठीक है सो बी प्रोसाइस बी कंसाइस ठीक है जितना छोटे वर्ड्स के अंदर किसी पॉइंट को किसी चीज को लिख सकते हो उतना ज्यादा बेटर है अपने लिए ठीक है यू कैन यूज दम आयुष स्पेसिफिकली आर्ग्यूमेंट राइटिंग के अंदर ठीक है जो ऐसे वाला पार्ट है उसके अंदर ट्राई करो कि थोड़े से कोर्ट्स को मेमोराइज कर लो ठीक है थोड़े से कोर्ट्स एक बार मेमोराइज कर लोगे तो वो एक्चुअल में ज्यादा रीडेबल हो जाता है पूरा का पूरा पैसेज ओके okay, ये चीज अपन सेम चीज एट कैसे राइटिंग में भी पढ़ेंगे थोड़ी सी तो ओके okay? बेटा सारे जॉनर पढ़ लो किसी भी कंटेक्स में नॉर्मल पढ़ लो जितने भी ये कहीं ना कहीं चिपक जाते हैं वो ऐसे ही हो सकता है नहीं भी है जेट में आई थिंक ऐसे राइटिंग लास्ट ईयर तक तो थी ये साल का देखना पड़ेगा बट इतनी इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं होती है चले नो नो निहारिका नथिंग लाइक दैट 
नहीं थी क्या ठीक है पहले होती थी मेरे जमाने में लास्ट ईयर एक्ट नहीं दिया था मैंने सो नॉट श्योर नहीं होता तो कोई बात नहीं डब्ल्यू एटी में पढ़ेंगे ठीक है बट कमिंग टू द लास्ट एंड द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग अपना कॉन्टेंट क्या है ठीक है तुम अच्छे ग्रामर ले लो तुम प्रिसाइज हो रहे हो कंसाइज हो रहे हो सारे कोर्स यूज कर रहे हो बट अगर तुम्हारे पास कंटेंट नहीं है तो कोई मतलब नहीं है ठीक है कंटेंट भी इंपॉर्टेंट है उतना ही जितनी ग्रामर है बल्कि कंटेंट सबसे ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है अगर तुम्हारा कंटेंट बहुत अच्छा है तो थोड़े से तुम्हारे ग्रामेटिकल एरर्स वगैरह वगैरह भी ओवरलुक कर लिए जाएंगे ठीक है ग्रामर कहाँ से प्रैक्टिस कर सकते हैं बेटा कहाँ से कर, करी थी अपने पहले ग्रामर प्रैक्टिस वहीं से करो ठीक है सो द थिंग इज दैट कंटेंट अपने पास अच्छा होना चाहिए ठीक है इसके लिए एक छोटा सा रूल होता है अपने पास शो एंड नॉट टेल ठीक है नॉर्मली स्टोरीज के अंदर क्या होता है ना कि अपन को बताना नहीं होता है कि क्या हो रहा है कि उसने उसको गोली मार दी अपन को दिखाना होता है कि क्या हो रहा है ठीक है वी हैव टू गिव और शो व्हाट इज हैपनिंग ऑन द स्क्रीन और इन द सीन राइट करके दिखाना एग्जैक्टली स्टोरीज का पूरा का पूरा मतलब ये रहता है इफ़ टेलिंग समवन समथिंग राइट इफ यू जस्ट राइटिंग शी टोल्ड हिम शी लव्ड हिम ठीक है वर्सेस यू आर एम्फोसाइजिंग ऑन द इंटायर सीन शी शॉर्ट हिम वर्सेज पूरी एक तुम ड्रॉन आउट सिनेरियो लिख रहे हो कि पर्दे किस कलर के थे क्या सेटिंग थी दैट विल गिव अ लॉट ऑफ वेट टू how the entire scene is playing out obviously you do not really have the luxury to add a lot of details when you are writing this okay bahut sari detail apan ko maika ki stories mein likhni bhi nahi hai okay but you still have to show what you are doing you don't have to just tell the story batani nahi hai story dikhani hai theek hai while being concise and precise that makes sense Does that make sense? I'll share a couple of examples of this after the session. Okay, ki how exactly this is done. Beta three hundred words are not huge. अरे यार बचपन में अपन गाय के ऊपर निबंध लिखा करते थे सौ words के. थोड़ा तो बेटा post grad का exam करने जा रहे हो इतना दो सौ words तो बढ़ेंगे ना? क्या लिखते थे अपन बचपन में गाय हमारी माता है गाय के चार पाँव दो सींग एक पूछ होती है इसी में हो जाते थे दस सेंटेंस ठीक है सौ वर्ड्स हो जाते थे इसी के अंदर अभी डब्ल्यू टी पी करना पड़ेगा फिर बाद में देखो अगर कैट का रिजल्ट अच्छा आया तो अपना जेट का आया तो वहाँ पे भी डब्ल्यू है ऑलमोस्ट हर जगह डब्ल्यू ए अब तो ठीक है लिखने पड़ेंगे वहाँ पे हजार हजार वर्ड्स कैसे तो करो प्रैक्टिस ठीक है so let's move on from this acha aata hai koi question abhi bhi in case agar kuch miss ho gaya kuch bhi kisi ko abhi bhi kuch bhi doubt hai to puch lo itna hi hai pura essay writing aur descriptive point of view se nahi hai to fir session end karte hain main cheeze share karta hu tum logo ke sath mein you can go through them इतनी मेहनत क्यों करवाते हैं लोग बेटा सी 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 एग्जैक्टली पी जी डी एम वाली चीज नहीं हो जाती सी 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 एक सर्टिफिकेशन जैसा हो जाता है क्राफ्ट वगैरह का ज्यादा डिटेल में मुझे भी आइडिया नहीं है आई जस्ट नो सम वन जिसने सी 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 करा था फिर उसको जॉब नहीं मिली तो वो स्टैंड ऑफ कॉमेडी करती है कौन है वो सुरभि बग्गा शायद हाँ सुरभि बग्गा करके एक स्टैंड ऑफ कॉमेडियन है उसने ये किया था नो नो जतिन यू डोंट नीड टू डू दैट यस डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट हाँ यस विल डू दैट हाँ बेटा तीन ब्लैंक्स लाइट थी इसे लिखने के लिए करी थी खाली बेटा अटेम्प्ट सब कुछ करना है डिस्क्रिप्टिव राइटिंग में कुछ भी नहीं छोड़ना है सब कुछ अटेम्प्ट करना है कौन से टॉपिक्स आज के तो बेटा शेयर कर दिए थे सुबह ऐसे वाले बेटा दो या तीन दे दो 
और उसका एक एक मॉक ही लगा लो दो मॉक टारगेट करो कम से कम और राइटिंग तो रोज दिन के दो दो सेट लगानी है माइकेट के मॉक्स कहाँ मिलेंगे बेटा हर जगह मिल जाएंगे एक बार गूगल करो बहुत जगह मिल जाएंगे आई वगैरह ने भी दे रखे होंगे एक एक दो दो तो पीजीडीएम सी बेटर है बेटा ज्यादा डिफरेंस नहीं है जस्ट सी के अंदर स्ट्रेटेजी के दो क्लासेस ज्यादा होते हैं सो so, पहली प्रायोरिटी सी ही रखनी है अगर नहीं है तो आ, किसी से इसे देख लेना काफी लोग क्योंकि माइकेट दे नहीं रहे ना तो अगर वो शेयर कर दें अपने आई एम एस की तो ठीक है तो उनके उससे दे देना हाँ जी बेटा वेबसाइट वाले सैंपल पेपर्स के आंसर नहीं है फिर तुम तो पांच जगह पोस्ट करोगे आंसर्स के लिए वो कोई आंसर करेगा नहीं ठीक है क्योंकि हमें भी ऑफिशियल आंसर नहीं पता तो हम ही नहीं करेंगे कि यहाँ पे मेहनत कौन करे जब वेरीफाई नहीं कर सकते तो मत करो बस देख लो कि क्वेश्चन किस तरीके के आते हैं उससे ठीक है वो चीज बस इसलिए यूज करो ये देखने के लिए क्वेश्चन किस तरीके के और उसका कुछ यूज नहीं है सैंपल पेपर्स का ये शुभ इट इज नेसेसरी टू डू दैट एवरी सिंगल इमेज टू बी यूज थोड़ा सा कम लेवल या एनमेट लेवल ही मान लो एक बार के लिए एनमेट लेवल सीमेट लेवल भी नहीं बेटा इतना ऐसी भी नहीं कन्वर्जेंट डाइवर्जेंट का प्रैक्टिस ही कर सकते हैं यार उसका और तो कुछ है नहीं उसमें करने के लिए थोड़ा जो पहले वाले सेशन में बताया था बस वही है और तो आई डोंट थिंक उसके अलावा और कुछ नीट रहती है क्वेश्चन में बना के पोस्ट कर दूंगा उसका डोंट वरी यार वो देखा नहीं मैंने हनी सर का थोड़ा सा मैं माइका के लिए अलग से दो तीन लिंक्स और पोस्ट कर दूंगा ठीक है माइका के लिए स्पेसिफिकली हाँ जी कवर करवानी है मुझे तुम लोग की अच्छा यार दिलाया माइका के लिए जीके के लिए ना पिंक जीके काफी ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाती है पिंक जीके समझ में आती है तो लोगों को क्या होती है ब्लू जीके पता है क्या होती है तुमको ये पता है जीके कितने कलर की होती है ओके पिंक जीके नॉर्मली बिजनेस रिलेटेड जीके को बोलते हैं ठीक है व्हाइट जी के नॉर्मली स्ट्रेटिक जी के को बोलते हैं ब्लू जी के नॉर्मली बोलते हैं इसको व्हाट डू यू कॉल इट जो जनरल इवेंट्स हो जाते हैं ना पॉलिटिक्स वगैरह रिलेटेड इनको कहते हैं बट इसका ठीक है कोई मतलब नहीं होता ये चीज पहले इसमें रिलेवेंट थी क्योंकि काफी सारे टेस्ट के अंदर जीके का सेक्शन कलर कोडेड आता था पहले की पिंक की तो उसने वो उस तरीके से करने लग गए बट ऐसे ही ना कि माइका के अंदर स्टैटिक जी के काफी इंपॉर्टेंट है ठीक है स्टैटिक जी के लिए मनोरमा की ईयरबुक आती है टेलीग्राम पे तुम सबको पीडीएफ मिल जाएगी कहीं ना कहीं से ये ईयरबुक से स्टैटिक जी के कर लो बस स्टैटिक जी के मनोरमा की ईयरबुक से कर लो ठीक है इसके अलावा दूसरी चीज आ जाती है मार्केटिंग वाली चीजें मार्केटिंग वाली चीजें के पढ़ने के लिए एफ करके एक वेबसाइट है एफ करके कैंपेन इंडिया करके एक वेबसाइट है और एक आ, मार्केटिंग डिमन बस ये दो मेन वेबसाइट्स हैं ये करंट अफेयर्स और मार्केटिंग वाली चीजें पढ़ने के लिए ठीक है बेटा सुन लो एक बार हनी पे भी आते हैं फिर ठीक है सो एफेक्स और कैंपेन इंडिया ये दो मेन वेबसाइट्स हैं मार्केटिंग रिलेटेड न्यूज पढ़ने के लिए मार्केटिंग रिलेटेड न्यूज में आपको मेजरली किन चीजों पर फोकस करना है सबसे ज्यादा जहां से डेफिनेटली क्वेश्चन आएंगे ही आएंगे आपको फोकस करना है कि ब्रांड एम्बेस्टर कौन सी ब्रांड का कौन है ठीक है आपको फोकस करना है कि टैगलाइन कौन सी है कौन क्या है ठीक है कौन सी ब्रांड की क्या टैगलाइन है और आपको फोकस करना है टैगलाइन के अलावा कि और क्या आता है इसके अंदर कि कौन सी ब्रांड के एग्जीक्यूटिव्स कौन कौन है सीईओ वगैरह कौन कौन है ठीक है लोगों के ऊपर एक क्वेश्चन डेफिनेटली आएगा आपके एग्जाम के अंदर और लोगोज नॉर्मली मैच द फॉलोइंग के अंदर आते हैं तो आपको चार पांच लोगोज पता होने चाहिए ठीक है बुक्स के ऊपर एक क्वेश्चन डेफिनेटली आएगा जो रिसेंटली पब्लिश हुई है डेफिनेटली आएगा ठीक है एंड 
आपको बेसिकली ये वाली देख लो एक बार ब्रांड एम्बेसडर्स पता होने चाहिए तीन चार ब्रांड एम्बेसडर्स आएंगे आपके एक या दो क्वेश्चन तो डेफिनेटली आएंगे एक क्वेश्चन तो डेफिनेटली ब्रांड एम्बेसडर के ऊपर आएगा एक क्वेश्चन डेफिनेटली टैगलाइन के ऊपर आएगा एग्जीक्यूटिव के ऊपर एक क्वेश्चन डेफिनेटली आएगा बुक्स के ऊपर एक क्वेश्चन डेफिनेटली आएगा ठीक है चार पांच क्वेश्चन यहीं से कवर हो जाएंगे फिर इसके अलावा मर्जर्स एंड एक्विजिशन काफी ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाता है एम एंड ए माइका के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से माइका की थोड़ी सी जी के लिए बोलते हैं बिकॉज ये सारी की सारी चीजें नॉर्मली पता होती है कि क्या है ठीक है सारे ठीक है जितना रट सकते हो उतना रटो ओके मर्जर्स एंड एक्विजिशन जितने भी बड़े बड़े हुए हैं जैसे तुम लोगों के लिए अच्छी बात ये कि ये साल काफी कम मर्जर्स एंड एक्विजिशन हुए बिकॉज कोविड आ गया था ठीक है सो so, ये सारी की सारी चीजें तुमको पता होनी चाहिए मर्जर्स एंड एक्विजिशन ये इतनी डीप में नहीं पूछेगा तुमसे कि मर्जर एंड एक्विजिशन के अंदर इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंक कौन से थे बट तुमको पता होना चाहिए कि मर्जर किस किसके मर्जर किस किसने किसको अक्वायर किया ठीक है सो so, ये वाली चीजों पे मेजर फोकस करो और आई थिंक काफी कुछ इसमें से जो हनी शेयर कर रहा है वो कवर हो जाएगा बट बिकॉज टाइम थोड़ा कम है ना तो थोड़ा सा मैं पोस्ट कर दूंगा इनके सबके एक एक दो दो लिंक्स ठीक है बट वो देख लेना प्लीज देख लेना ठीक है मैं लिंक्स पोस्ट कर दूंगा बेटा तुमको अपनी साइड से कुछ नहीं करना है तुमको बस वो लिंक्स खोल के पढ़ने हैं यू डोंट हैव टू वरी अबाउट दैट ये सब कुछ मैं प्रोवाइड करवा दूंगा तुमको ठीक है I'll just repeat this. Static GK सबसे ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है माइका के लिए ठीक है स्टेटिक जी के सबको पता है ना क्या होती है पुरानी वाली जी के ठीक है प्रीवियस फैक्ट्स ओके फिर मार्केटिंग रिलेटेड न्यूज काफी ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है मार्केटिंग रिलेटेड न्यूज तुम पढ़ सकते हो ए फैक्ट से और कैंपेन इंडिया से ठीक है दोनों वेबसाइट है मार्केटिंग ओरिएंटेड इंडियन मार्केटिंग ओरिएंटेड रादर ठीक है और ये काफी अच्छी वेबसाइट है दोनों की दोनों ए फैक्स कैंपेन इंडिया ये मार्केटिंग रिलेटेड चीजें हैं इसके बाद अपन को क्या क्या करना है मर्जर्स एंड एक्विजिशन के बारे में पढ़ना है ठीक है और ब्रांड एम्बेसडर्स के बारे में पढ़ना है सारी ब्रांड्स की टैगलाइन पता होनी चाहिए अपन को सीईओ अपन को मेजर ब्रांड्स के पता होने चाहिए लोगोस अपन को पता होने चाहिए ठीक है और बुक्स के ऊपर एक क्वेश्चन आ सकता है डेफिनेटली ये वाले सारे टॉपिक्स बहुत ज्यादा ईजी है क्योंकि माइका की जी के ऐसी होती है कि स्टैटिक के अंदर से तुम ईयर बुक एक बार पढ़ लोगे ना पांच सात क्वेश्चन तो तुम इसमें से निकाल लोगे ये ये सारे के सारे लिस्ट हैं सात या आठ पेज की एक लिस्ट होती है इनमें से एक एक दो दो क्वेश्चन तुम निकाल लोगे ठीक है जो काफी अच्छा पे ऑफ दे जाता है इसके अलावा माइका से जस्ट एक या दो दिन पहले सी का एक कंपेंडियम आता है ठीक है ये मैं अपलोड कर दूंगा बिकॉज ये मिल जाते हैं अपडेट होते नॉर्मली ऐसा होता है कि सी के कंपेंडियम से एक या दो क्वेश्चन आते हैं ठीक है तो जस्ट एग्जाम में घुसने से पहले ये वाला कंपेंडियम देख लेना आईएमएस का आता सॉरी सीएल का नहीं आता सीएल या आईएमएस का कंपेंडियम आता है एक का एक वो पढ़ लेना उसके अंदर ये नॉर्मली सारी चीजें समराइज कर लेते हैं तो वो चीज तुम्हारा रिवाइज भी करवा देगी ठीक है ईयर बुक से करो बेटा बस ईयर बुक से करो और कुछ देखना ही नहीं है इसके अलावा जो हनी क्वेश्चन दे रहा है वो कर लो ठीक है मेजरली सारी के सारी चीज तुम्हारी हनी के क्वेश्चन में कवर हो जाएंगे मैं फिर भी एडिशनली तुमको बता रहा हूँ बिकॉज सबने अपने पता होना चाहिए कि देखो बेटा क्या क्या हो रहा है ठीक है ठीक है अगर आई एम एस का आ गया तो आई लॉल्सो चेक ओके जीके के लिए बस यही इंपॉर्टेंट है हाँ जी बेटा सारी का दैट हेल्प जीके कोर्स बेटा स्मिता वो उसी के अंदर कवर होगा पूरा Uh, मेरे को एक बार याद दिला दो मुझे क्या क्या करना है मुझे एक तो वो साइकोमेट्रिक के लिंक्स पोस्ट करने मुझे शॉर्ट स्टोरीज के लिंक्स पोस्ट करने ठीक है और मुझे दो वेबसाइट्स के लिंक्स पोस्ट करने राइट तीन ही चीजें करनी है ना कन्वर्जन डाइवर्जन के क्वेश्चन बेटा बनाऊंगा मुझे घर घर जाके मतलब कल परसों में तो उसके बाद ही करूंगा अभी तो जितने सोर्सेज अवेलेबल है ना ये सारी चीजों पर फोकस करो इतना ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है ही नहीं एस एस के बेटे टॉपिक्स अपडेट कर दिया ना वो ही पढ़ना शुरू करो अभी तो एस एस थोड़े से उठा के पटक सकता हूँ क्या मैं कहीं पे एस एस का मैं देखता हूँ एक बार थोड़े से मैंने खुद ने लिख रखे थे मैं वो पोस्ट कर दूंगा ओके बेटा नैरो डाउन कुछ नहीं करना अगर नैरो डाउन करने की अपन की हालत हो रखी होती इतना विजडम होता अपन में 
देन अपन भगवान कहलाते राइट कि अपन को फ्यूचर पता है कि क्या पूछ रहे हैं अपन से पढ़ना सब कुछ पढ़ता है वही सबसे बड़ी प्रॉब्लम होती है जीके के साथ में ठीक है तो चलो पढ़ाई पे फोकस करो अभी कैन आई क्रिएट अपरेट इवेंट फॉर दिस देर इज ऑलरेडी सेपरेट ग्रुप फॉर दिस सो लेट मी जस्ट एक्चुअली थिंक अबाउट दैट फिर मैं करते हूँ करता हूँ उसका कुछ ओके जस्ट मैं अलग किसी ग्रुप के ऊपर अपनी ईजी के बाहर नहीं करना चाह रहा है सब कुछ बिकॉज देन अदर पीपल विल ऑल्सो कमेंट और मैं अपना टाइम डिवाइड नहीं करना चाह रहा टू बी ऑनस्ट बिकॉज टाइम ऑलरेडी काफ़ी कम रहता है सो वहाँ पर फिर डिफ्रेंशिएट नहीं हो पाता कि अपना स्टूडेंट कौन है और कोई नहीं है सो नॉट दैट आई एम अगेंस्ट हेल्पिंग आउट साइड पीपल जस्ट दैट गिवन दी गिवन द डर्थ ऑफ टाइम आई प्रिफर टू स्पेंड इट ऑन यू पीपल हाँ बेटा ऐसे इसीलिए पोस्ट कर रहा हूँ मैं ताकि मैं चेक करूँ डोंट वरी हाँ जी बेटा थोड़ी सी चीज़ें मैं से अभी शेयर हो जाएंगी जैसे साइकोमेट्रिक वगैरह शॉर्ट स्टोरीज के लिंक्स साइकोमेट्रिक और वेबसाइट वगैरह मैं पोस्ट कर दूंगा शॉर्ट स्टोरीज के लिंक ढूंढने में टाइम लगेगा थोड़ा ठीक है अरे नहीं बेटा देख लो यार इतना देखो एफर्ट लगा लो ग्रुप खोल के देखने का क्योंकि रीडिंग मटेरियल में मुझे गौरव को चीजें भेजनी पड़ेंगी फिर वो बेचारा तीन अलग अलग जगह उसको अपडेट करना पड़ता है तीनों बैचेस के अंदर इतना देखो यार थोड़ा तुम लोग देख सकते हो हार्डली कितने सौ जने भी नहीं हो जो माइका दे रहे हो अभी <laughs> थोड़ी मेहनत करो बेटा <laughs> क्योंकि हम नहीं करेंगे अब इजी प्रैक्टिस ग्रुप पे देखो बेटा बस अगर कुछ अपडेट होगा तो मैं वहीं पे अपडेट कर दूंगा कि अभी यहाँ पे अपडेट नहीं होगा या कहाँ पे अपडेट होगा बस वो वाला ग्रुप खोल कर देख लो दिन में दो या तीन बार जब फेसबुक खोलो वो वाला ग्रुप जरूर देख लिया करो ठीक है ठीक है चलो ओवर करते हैं फिर मिलते हैं एक दो दिन में वापस से बेटा ग्रुप बना हुआ है ग्रुप बहुत मजे है बेटा <laughs> जस्ट मैं अलग से और कहीं पे पोस्ट नहीं करना चाह रहा ठीक है चलो गुड नाइट सी यू गाइस एक दो ही ग्रुप बेटा फॉलो करने तुमको अभी ईजी फाइन ईजी फाइनल लेप वाला और ईजी प्रैक्टिस ग्रुप और तो कुछ करना ही नहीं है तुम बस ये दो ग्रुप्स खोल खोल लिया करो दिन में और कुछ नहीं खोलना ओके चलो बाय बाय गुड नाइट